Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another Super Engines games and this time I would like to show you the game from Season 17 from Super Final and for those you don't know, uh, Season 17 was won by Lila Chess Zero. So this is the game number 95 of the Super Final and uh, Lila Chess Zero gonna play as Black. French Defense Advanced Variation. So this is one of the reasons, because usually we see uh, Lila Chess Zero, you know, destroy the French Defense, uh, but what if Lila Chess Zero is forced to play uh, French Defense? We're gonna see the answer now. Um, the opponent, Stockfish, and uh, I adjust the rankings to the uh, Season 17, and it ended three months ago. However, this game is uh, very, very interesting, especially for the people who play French Defense, but also who want to learn uh, how to play against the French defense. So without further ado, let's see what happened on the board. First, I show you the first moves. So they were, uh, of course, prearranged by, by the book. So e4, e6, d4, d5, e5, and b6. So not c5, but b6. Now, what is this move? This is the sideline. Maybe not everybody knows. However, I played from time to time, uh, so I know some ideas. So first of all, what is the idea? In the advanced uh, system, in French defense, white gonna have very important piece and very strong piece. Bishop on d3, and this bishop is just deadly. It supports the march of these pawns, so these pawns can advance and, you know, destroy the French defense, so that is the one thing. Also, it's pointing at h7, uh, so it can be very, very dangerous. It's definitely one of the best pieces of white. Uh, from the other hand, black has the very weak uh, French bishop and it's also light square bishop. So the idea of b6 is to early exchange uh, these bishops. That would be, you know, dream scenario. Uh, so we start, this is out of the book now, and Stockfish uh, plays c3, which is the main move. And why it's the main move? Because now bishop on a6 is not possible, because that would be terrible blunder, uh, because after exchanging, the queen can do a little tactic with the attack on the king and, and of course on the knight. So this is the problem. What usually is played here is queen on d7 to prevent that, uh, and then, for example, after knight on f3, knight on e7, waiting move, waiting for moving the bishop. And once the bishop is moved, for example, to d3, this bishop can move with the tempo, exchange the bishop and continue uh, the game. Uh, however, white usually answer with some waiting move as well. So knight on a3 still developing. So uh, black sooner or later gonna play uh, bishop on a6 and then, for example, h5, knight on f5 and the game can continue. So these are the main ideas. Bishop on a6 now exchange the bishops and continue. Uh, however, here uh, Lila chess zero first play c5. Uh, and now we have knight a3 uh, with, of course, with the idea this bishop can now jump to b5. We have queen on d7 and now bishop on b5 as planned. And now the problem is uh, the bishop can't be really moved to a6 because, you know, this is quite nasty pin. So black are actually forced to play knight on c6. We have knight on f3 by stockfish and now a6 kicking the bishop and bishop on d3. So... Uh, very important diagonal for white so it looks like black didn't achieve what they could uh, achieve here uh, however uh, the game is still very very interesting because uh, Lila plays f6 very French move undermining all this powerful center and very annoying center Stockfish castles and now we have exchange on e5 so f takes on e5 and now knight takes on e5 however maybe d takes on e5 uh, could be slightly better uh, because black would have more pieces to develop and black doesn't have much space here uh, however also after knight on e5 uh, white in the future can play f4 uh, much easier uh, we have knight on e5, d takes on e5, and now knight on e7, of course with the idea of developing to c6, and attack the pawn on e5. 
we have queen on f3 by by stockfish so developing the queen on the king side is pretty common idea and now knight on c6 with the pressure with the attack on e5 pawn uh, queen on g3 and for now the queen is actually uh, hired as the bodyguard of the of the pawn on e5 uh, and maybe even waiting for some move you know for example bishop on e7 cannot be played because this pawn is hanging uh, and also g6 wouldn't be that great because after a bishop on g5 white actually can play on the on the dark squares black would probably would be forced uh, to exchange the dark square bishop and continue the game uh However, probably that's not the, the greatest idea because Lila Chess Zero has completely different plan. So definitely not gonna castle on the king side. That would be a suicide with the queen already on the uh, on the G file with the uh, you know the bishops you know watching on the on the king side as well. Uh, that's definitely bad idea. So bishop on B7. Uh, we have knight on C2. So this knight now um, gonna move somewhere else and castle by lila chess zero and here uh probably b4 would be the best here b4 uh, even sacrifice the the pawn because taking that pawn is not so great for black for example c takes on b4 uh, c takes on b4 knight on b4 and look at this king the king uh, is on the open c file and uh, it's quite vulnerable so here, for example, knight on b4, bishop on b4, the game, of course, can continue. However, white gonna have uh, quite a lot of play and black doesn't have, you know, so safe position. Uh, however, stockfish play rook on b1, quite slow move and now preparing b4. And now Lila found a really beautiful idea. Look at this very nice positional understanding, if we can say that, uh, of Lila of this position. So we have b5 and after b4 we have c4. And the idea is uh, after bishop on e2, because the bishop is of course under attack, d4 d4 and now uh, c takes on d4 otherwise the the d3 is uh, is a huge threat so c takes on d4 and now of course don't take this pawn okay lila don't want to win back the material that was the sacrifice however black gonna have uh, this powerful protected past pawn and white gonna have uh, this pawn which is a weakness uh, and lila can take it in the future so that is the idea knight on d4 would be just bad because after knight on d4 queen on d4 look at this bishop g5 with the attack on the rook so rook has to be moved uh, and then bishop on g4 with all of this pressure it's a very very dangerous uh, actually if the rook takes the pawn and then another rook comes to to d1 and look at this this is very very dangerous also if the queen takes on e5 it's not really better because uh, the bishop can come to to f4 and then the rook can attack the queen and put the pressure on this pawn and it's very dangerous the king is completely you know vulnerable so opening uh, the position here it's a very bad idea uh, so lila continues the plan of improving the position and plays knight on e7 now what is the idea uh, you already probably see the knight want to jump to d5 and then what so you will see what is the idea we have rook on d1 uh giving some extra protection to to d4 which is very vulnerable and now g5 g5 so the idea is uh, to uh, actually roll the pawns on the on the king side attack there and also create very interesting outpost and now look at this this knight can jump to d5 and here that would be beautiful outpost together with the bishop attacking on uh, on g2 maybe the rook can join especially if the pawn is taken so for example bishop on g5 and look at this rook g8 and this is just bad uh, h6 is coming this attack is a uh, very dangerous and uh, and that would be very bad for white so uh, what stockfish did 
after g5 knight on e3 uh, controlling d5 and now we have knight on d5 so of course this is one threat this is another threat you know forking the the rooks so this knight would be you know monster knight so stockfish decide to to exchange uh, there is not much choice here so knight on d5 and bishop on d5 and this bishop is so powerful it looks like it works as a pawn however what a pawn watching at g2 uh, and controlling couple of light squares uh, and now h5 is another threat uh, and this pawns you know gonna roll uh, an attack on the on the king side so uh, what white did is bishop h5 very nice move by stockfish now h5 is not possible so lila plays queen on c6 uh, we have h3 preventing any g4 move making some uh, you know breathing space for the king uh, and now bishop on e7 uh, developing the the bishop connecting the rooks uh, and now rook on b2 rook on b2 uh preparing to actually uh, double the rooks somewhere if needed and also uh, watching an f2 so uh, this f2 can be a target because we have semi open f5 uh, we have rook d on f8 uh, and now a3 consolidating the position here however the main idea is bring the rook to a2 uh, and then push a4 open the open the a file and maybe make some counter play on the a file so very nice idea by stockfish uh, we have rook on f5 uh, preparing to double the rooks on the f file and now rook on a2 but look at this rook this rook actually came from a1 through b1 b2 a2 uh, just to support the, the attack on the on the queen side uh, pretty amazing because this rook could stay actually on the a file uh, and b4 could be played before probably with the with the same effect we have a king on b7 so bringing the king closer to the a file uh, just to control in the case if the if the a file is open uh, we have a rook on f1 bringing the the support to f2 as the as the f2 can be uh, actually attacked more times uh, and now rook on g8 uh, attacking on the king side and preparing g4 queen on g4 now uh, blocking the, the the pawn so lila goes for rook on a8 and now lila is threatening to play a5 maybe open the file maybe even play a4 uh, and and close the position and concentrate on the king side there are uh, a lot of ways so bishop on d2 just to prevent any a5 moves and now we have rook a on f8 concentrating on the semi open f file and now uh, a4 is completely not possible it looks like okay i could play a4 open the file maybe double the rooks there and it looks pretty good however after a4 we could have c3 and it's difficult to stop that pawn for example rook on c2 is a, is an option uh, and now the the bishop cannot be taken because of the pin however bishop on b4 and this pawn gonna be very dangerous and black gonna have you know a lot of dangerous gameplay here with these bishops you know controlling uh, these diagonals uh, the rooks controlling the semi open f file uh, it's it's a pretty good bishop on e3 of course can be played solidifying the position but it's still difficult even this bishop can can come to c4 uh, and continue uh, many ways black gonna have you know much better position so we have rook on c2 probably against this c3 moves so uh, just preventing but now lila chess zero play a5 so deciding to open a file or maybe as i said a4 a4 would be deadly because all the black pieces are actually concentrated on the king side and this king would be ultra safe over there so uh, stockfish doesn't have much choice and make very ugly move but without them you know much choice b takes on f5 and now uh, bishop a3 so black gonna have this powerful connected past pawn so this is uh, what lila did in french defense uh, we have queen on g3 attacking the bishop now bishop retreat to e7 and now b4 of course is a, is a threat so we have rook on b2 against that move and now king on a6 
Uh, and this king is the safest king ever because the shelter is white, so uh, it cannot be attacked by the white pieces, you know, uh, on the a file. We have bishop on g4 attacking the rook. Rook uh, goes back to a 7 rank and now bishop h5 making maybe threefold repetition. Lila 0 is not interested. Rook on g7. We have rook f on b1, uh, putting a lot of pressure now on b5 uh, pawn and now rook on b8, supporting and also threatening b4. So a uh, bishop on b4 blocking that uh, and here Lila chess 0 plays another uh, beautiful move g4 g4 the point is that the bishop of course cannot take the pawn because uh, first exchange the the dark square bishops and then play h5 winning the piece and of course the game so it's not possible so we have h takes on g4 the downside of this move look at this bishop this bishop is completely locked uh, cut off from the from the rest of the white army and uh, and doesn't support anything so stockfish is uh, again in the little positional uh, troubles we have bishop on e4 now uh, attacking the rook uh, so rook has to be moved probably rook on d1 could be the uh, the better option the problem is it, it's defending the the d4 which is very important however this pawn can march so uh, it's very difficult to actually decide where to move the rook rook on c1 was played and here after this move evaluation started to be in favor of lila so far it was uh, more or less you, it, it was in favor of stockfish however here uh, lila chess zero has already advantage minus 1.5 so in favor of lila uh, we have rook on d8 attacking the pawn on d4 and now how to defend that uh, if white decide to move the rooks then they cannot block the pawns and these pawns can be very very annoying and deadly so first bishop on e7 the, uh, exchanging the dark square bishops and now rook on e7 and here stockfish decided okay this pawn is more important so queen on e3 uh, and we have bishop on g2 so giving up this pawn and uh, now uh, g5 locking the pawn on h7 but also this bishop is free so it took a couple of moves actually uh, to free that bishop uh, however black at that time improved the position won one of the pawns and now just retreat to d5 so uh, solidifying the position and now f4 so stockfish tries to counterplay uh, on the king side because so far didn't have any counterplay and black had the initiative and still have the initiative but you know uh, stockfish try to you know distract and and play some counterplay we have rook on b7 preparing b4 and now king on f2 maybe maybe rook c on b1 could be could be better because it would stop for the moment the the advancement of the pawn however uh, sooner or later it would it would come so b4 uh, and now bishop on e2 pinning the pinning the pawn we have rook on c8 and now f5 distracting on the on the king side e takes on f5 and now rook b on c2 so concentrating all the forces on the on the c4 we have queen on b5 uh, moving away from the uh, from the pin uh, but also you know this is this is another pin uh, so we have e6 now the pawn is marching and it cannot be taken because has the support of the of the queen so lila plays f4 distracting move and of course if the if the pawn is taken then this pawn gonna be lost so uh, queen on e5 uh, and now b3 attacking the the rook rook on b2 and now f3 attacking the bishop so distracting the bishop the problem is uh, if the bishop goes on f3 then black just simply exchange everything so bishop on f3 the queen is under attack so um, queen on b5 is forced rook on b5 king on f3 and this is completely winning for uh, for black uh, the king can actually go to b4 this pawn can just roll uh, and also black can pick up this pawn uh, can can pick up actually this pawn as well uh, so it's completely winning ending for for black so it's not even possible this is why we have bishop on d3 uh, little tactic because the the 
bishop cannot be taken because the, the rook on c8 is hanging. So a king on a7, just retreating from this uh, ugly pin. Uh, and now we have a6. So Stockfish follows the king and uh, asking to open the A file. Of course, it's not in the in the best interest of Black. So now, uh, very calmly, Rook beyond B8. We have Queen on G7 with check, and now King on A8, uh, and here Queen on D7 asking to to exchange the queens, uh, which Lila accepts. So we have Queen on D7, E takes on D7, uh, and now simply Rook on C6 attacking this pawn, but also uh, this bishop can be taken now because there are no tactics anymore. So uh, white has to move and bishop on h7, it, it looks pretty good. However, it's not that great. For example, rook on a6 uh, and after let's say rook on e1 and trying to, to advance this pawn, these pawns are just too powerful. So for example, rook on d6, moving the rook behind, always move the, the, the rook behind the pawns. Uh, so bishop f5, the defending but then c3 and this pawn's gonna roll and, and and win the game so rook b on b1 c2 rook b2 uh rook b7 now concentrating on on d7 and uh, white can deliver maybe one check here and but but they cannot you know advance uh, because after king on a7 if they advance black of course gonna take that queen and uh you know create uh, the queen on its own so rook on a1 probably uh, but black even can actually take this this pawn, eliminate that, and uh, white gonna have two rooks, uh, which works as a blockers. And this bishop controls uh, f3, controls b3 as well, and and this rook is just free, can pick up the pieces on the board. The the king can come and win the game. So uh, it it just doesn't work. This is why. Uh, Stockfish decided to go for the for the pretty bad endings. However, didn't see another uh, option, so we have Bishop on c4, uh, and now of course Rook on c4, and now Rook on b3. So two pawns for the bishop and these rooks cannot be taken because of the pawn. So of course uh, that would be that would be losing. Okay, you cannot take this rook. You cannot also take this rook because for exactly the same reason that that is just losing. So uh, we have rook on d8 by Lila chess zero and now rook on c4, bishop on c4 and now rook on f3. So we have the the end game. Now. Uh, here maybe rook on c3 could be played, but then simply bishop on a6, uh, and this just doesn't work, okay? Because the the bishop controls c4, c8, so it doesn't work. Uh, king f3, uh, rook d7, it's completely winning for uh, for black. So uh, this is why we have rook on f3, but it is still winning for for black. So what is the idea? The idea is to defend this pawn. It's very important pawn, and this pawn gonna win the game, uh, and just pick up the pawn. Look at these pawns. They are so easy actually to pick up. Uh, they don't have the support and only the rook and the king can support them. So rook on d7 picking up the first pawn. So three more to go. We have king on e3 by stockfish and now bishop on f7 with the plan of course defending on h7. Uh, king on d3 uh, and now king on a7 attacking the pawn so rook on f6 and now bishop on g6 with check king on c4 and now bishop on e4 uh, controlling d5 and also d3 so now the king can be uh, can be kicked we have rook on f4 and now as planned rook on c7 king on b4 and now bishop on d3 with the attack on a6 uh, it actually cannot be be saved so we have d5 bishop on a6 so two pawns down and now just two more to to go we have rook on f3 and now king on b7 rook on g3 with the idea of pushing this pawn and maybe exchange uh, for the for the black pawn so uh, that would be of course very close to draw uh, we have rook on g7 preventing and now king on c5 uh, king on c7 king on d4 king on d6 uh, and now rook on h3 with the idea of course to to win the bishop very nice skewer so bishop on c8 with the idea of bringing the bishop back uh, to actually to to g6 which would free the rook from their duties on on g7 and now rook h6 anyway so kicking the 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 king king on e7 uh, and now king on e4 so the bishop cannot come to to f5 anymore uh, but now we have king on f8 
rook on c6 attacking the bishop so bishop on d7 and now rook on h6 rook on e7 with check uh, now king on d4 and now king on g7 so now the king is the guardian of of h7 so the the pawn is safe so the plan for black now is just to exchange the rooks and once the rooks are exchanged uh, the king can actually pick up these two pawns and win because uh, keep in mind the bishop is the light square bishop and it's very very important uh, because you know promotion square is the is the light square as well so uh, otherwise that would be a draw so here is the idea exchange the rooks now uh, we have rook on f6 by stockfish and now rook on f7 asking maybe you want to you know lose now we have rook on b6 and now bishop on g4 uh, king on e5 uh, and now rook f5 and picking up just another pawn uh, king on e4 and rook on g5 so only one pawn left uh, rook on b7 we check a uh, king on g6 rook on b6 king h5 uh, rook on b7 and now h6 so moving the pawn uh, and here rook on b2 uh, trying to stop uh, you know uh, from the front uh, we have bishop on c8 uh, and now king on d4 uh, king on g6 just making a way for this pawn and this pawn simply gonna win the game we have couple more moves so rook on b6 uh, and now king on h7 rook on b3 uh, and now rook on g4 with check king on c5 uh, and now rook on g7 so making couple of moves probably not necessary but you know that the engines they make a lot of uh, strange moves we have king on d4 uh, and now rook on b7 asking to exchange the rooks again uh, rook on a3 uh, and now rook on d7 uh, rook on b3 bishop on b7 attacking the the pawn twice we have a rook on b5 and now exchanging would be would be too early because uh that would be a draw uh, white would be on time to to go to the corner and draw the game so first king on g6 uh, and after rook on b6 king g5 and in this position stockfish just resign and and it resigns because after rook on b5 now it's the right time to exchange and after exchanging uh king f4 and this pawn uh, gonna of course uh, advance uh, promote and win the game so uh, what a game in this position actually lila chess zero in advanced french defense just you know outplayed stockfish and stockfish didn't even have the uh, a little chances for for any counterplay just try something but uh, at the end in the in the completely lost position where lila already dominated so it seems like you know french defense it's still playable it was crushed by by lila but when lila actually played french defense it's also a uh, very very powerful tool so it's good news for all the french defense users that everything is uh, is okay with that defense so uh yeah that's all for today if you like this game press like if for some reason you don't like it press and like uh, and if you don't want to miss any other quality content from the current tournament from the engines games and from the you know uh, very educational games from the past press subscribe smash the bell button Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.